Hello, welcome back to my channel Sinis Primary Math. In geometry, the terms similar and congruent are most often used with plane figures. But these two words similar and congruent create lot of confusion among children. Aren't you interested to get your concepts right? Sure, in this video we are going to learn about similar and congruent circles. By the end of this video, you will comprehend the basic properties of similar and congruent figures also. Those who are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get my future videos and free worksheets. Also watch my previous video, Basics of Circles. The link is given in the description box below. Let us first understand the meaning of the terms similar and congruent in mathematical language. Similarity means likeness or resembling each other but not quite the same. Mathematically, two figures are similar means they have a common shape but they can be of different sizes. For example, observe the picture of the butterflies. The butterflies have the same shape but are different sizes. These two butterflies are similar. Similar figures are shapes that are relative to each other and they maintain the same properties in proportion to one another. Symbol shown is used to denote similarity. Now let us examine what is meant by congruent. Two figures are congruent if they are similar in shape as well as similar in size. They have same properties. So any two figures which are congruent are exactly the same. Note that congruence is not affected by position, rotation, or reflection. All congruent shapes are similar. However, not all similar shapes are congruent. The symbol shown indicates congruence. Learning. Hope it is clear now. Now, coming to circles, consider the two circles shown. They have different radii. We know that a circle is defined by two properties, its center and radius. Circles remain the same regardless of the rotation or reflection. So, size of any circle is defined by its radius. Here you can see these circles have the same shape but not exact in size. Hence, they are similar. All circles are similar to each other, whatever is the radius. Now, let us look at the congruent properties. We know any two circles, regardless of size, will always have the same central angle of 360 degrees, that is full 10. As we learned in the beginning, two circles are congruent if their size is also same. The circle size can be considered in terms of its radius, diameter or circumference. Having size same, they can superimpose. That is, both circles will cover each other. Then, they are congruent circles. We can say any two circles are similar but they are congruent if and only if they have the same radius. Hope you are now familiar with the properties of similar and congruent figures in general and circles in particular. I know you are interested to learn plane geometry. I 
will be back with another video on this topic thanks for watching please like subscribe and share this video bye